Clear the decks. We're about to see some stage diving. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Headbangers from New Jersey, weighing in at 243 pounds, Marsh. Marsh is always in a hyped-up mood. He's got frantic energy, but he's tough to contain. The man is a human tornado. He'll take everyone down in his path. Honky Tonk Man is in the building. Always out of tune, yet always so confident. And his opponents, first from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the Honky Tonk Man! Oh, baby, we are in store for a special concert at the Showcase of the Immortals. The Honky Tonk Man will stoop to any level to win, and you best believe he will play even dirtier at WrestleMania. My sources tell me that after tonight's victory, we're going to be treated to a VIP concert. Honky Tonk Man, just the classics. Lucky us. has just arrived. And representing the Headbangers from Camden, New Jersey, weighing in at 245 pounds, Thrasher! Thrasher loves turning his opponent's world upside down. He is ready to run roughshod through any mosh pit and will stomp competitors with a smile. This is a man who has survived the ups and downs of sports entertainment, and Thrasher's here to wreck shop. Yeah, it doesn't take it easy on anyone. Thrasher truly represents the Attitude Era to its fullest. From dropping bars to dropping the competition. Post Malone can blend music styles as well as fighting and definitely a master on the microphone. Well, Post needs to defy his hilariously low overall rating and have the performance of his career. Covered in ink, but ready to tattoo the opposition tonight. Boy, I respect Post Malone's desire and passion, but it's going to be tough for old Posty to leave here with the W. Four of WWE's top competitors ready for this fatal four-way match. For this bout, we see Mosh, the Hockey Talk Man, Thrasher, and Post Malone. It's no coincidence why this match is called a fatal four-way. Things can become catastrophic for any competitor at the blink of an eye. And having no rules just adds fuel to the flame. Corey, in your experience, how difficult is a fatal four-way on a scale of one to ten? As the saying goes, the limit does not exist. This match requires a sky-high in-ring IQ and flexibility. You need to move from one scenario to another and not lose sight of the big picture. Blast off! Light drop from the top rope. He's taking some good hits. Meanwhile, it's hockey talk. stomach. Placed in the corner. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. What a shot! Bobby Dog Man grabs the guitar, ready to play a tune on his opponent's head. He
turns it around on Honky Tonk, piling damage onto the torso. Thrasher even more determined than ever now. From behind, Neckbreaker. And Mosh gave an opening, and it was... Uh-oh. Strong counter from Mosh. Big time power slam. Shin breaker. Delivers the cross body. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. He reverses it. And he sends him into the corner. Combination of shots there. Heavy knee strike. This group practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Boom! Oh, just an uppercut down to 24 carats. Snap bears their opponent. Snap bear and an elbow drop. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Right across the larynx. Scoop slam, making it look easy. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. Back into the hip toss. 
We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and it is mad in here. Oh, rocking the job. And A truly stunning performance to win this fatal four-way match. All four competitors in this match gave everything they had. But there can only be one winner in the end, and you are looking at them.